Films are usually made in different locations and places. But sometimes, according to the nature of the story, a film can be made in a single room. This technique is often used by various filmmakers because it is very easy to make an entire film in a single room only. Today, our top 5 picks are those films that are made in one room only. Therefore, subscribe to the Film Gossips because here you will find many categories like this. And that being said, let us start today's countdown. At number 5, we got My Dinner with Andre. The number 5th entry with which this countdown starts is this comedy drama film. My Dinner with Andre was released in 1981 and it was directed by the French filmmaker Louis Malle. It is written by Andre Gregory and Wallace Shawn. Both these men are also in lead roles. The film narrates the story of a dinner between Andre and Wallace in a restaurant. During the conversation, both gentlemen discuss the purpose of theatre, their work in theatre and other things. After that, they begin to discuss the purpose of life and its meaning. The whole movie is made in a single spot, which is a restaurant. But despite having only a conversation for two hours, this film is truly a masterpiece. The whole movie focuses on dialogues between two persons who are having dinner. Upon its release, it just won the hearts of every critic. It is a unique film in every aspect of the filmmaking business. It was made with a low budget of $500,000. But unfortunately, no detail can be found about its financial success. However, it is one of the best films which only relies on the script. Well, you look terrific. Wow, I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> trees were so large that four or five people linking their arms couldn't get their arms around the trees. I may be in a very emotional state right now, Wally, but since I've come back home, I've just been finding the world we're living in more and more upsetting. If I can occasionally get my little talent together and write a little play, well, then that's just, that's just wonderful. If you really reach out and you're really in touch with the other person, well, that really is something to strive for, I think I really do. Yeah, just so pathetic if one doesn't do that. I rode home through the city streets. There wasn't a street, there wasn't a building that wasn't connected to some memory in my mind. At number four, we got The Breakfast Club. If you have a teenage sibling who is giving you a hard time with his behavior, then you might want to watch this film. Released in 1985, this film was directed by John Hughes who encapsulate all teenage rebellious faces in a single film. Written by John himself, this film features Emilio Atzwiz, Paul Gleason, Judd Nelson and Ali Shiri in the lead roles. The film captures a day in the life of five teenage students being detained in the library room. All five students interact with each other. Despite having different personalities and mindsets, they put their egos aside and become best friends at the end of their detention. The whole shooting took place in a single room where all these teenagers are sitting. The film received very positive reviews for its direction, script and performances of actors. It was made with a low budget of $1 million but to everyone's surprise, it became a commercial success and crossed over $51 million. Nonetheless, this film depicts the problems and behavior of teenagers in a positive way. Well, well, here we are. I want to congratulate you for being on time. Excuse me, sir. I think there's been a mistake. I know it's detention, but um, I don't think I belong in here. It is now 7.06. You have exactly eight hours and 54 minutes to think about why you're here. What do you say we close that door? We can't have any kind of party. We're burning, checking us out every few seconds. Well, you know, the door's supposed to stay open. So what? So why don't you just shut up? What's that? Sushi. Sushi? <laughs> Rice, uh, raw fish, and seaweed. Well, Brian, this is a very nutritious lunch. All the food groups are represented. Did your mom marry Mr. Rogers? Uh, no, Mr. Johnson. Huh. When you grow up, your heart dies. Who cares? I care. At number three, we got Reservoir Dogs. Considered as the second best work of Academy winner Quentin Trantino, 
this film is notably the best film of this genre. Released in 1992, Reservoir Dogs is written and directed by Quentin himself. The film follows a group of robbers who meet in an empty warehouse after their heist goes wrong. In their meeting, everything went down the hill. After every person starts to suspect the other person, eventually they all die at the hands of each other. Heist is not shown, but the entire film is focused on their meeting in the warehouse. The director used a one-sitting technique in a genius way. It has an ensemble cast involving Harvey Kettle, Tim Roth, Stevie Buscemi, and Michael Madsen. It has all the elements for which Quentin is famous like violence, profanity, torture, and bloodshed. The film was a failure at the box office, but it earned critical acclaim. Now what the hell do you think you're doing? You're my book. Bro. I'm sick of fucking hearing it, Joe. I'll give it back to you when we leave. Excuse me, Mr. Pink, but the last fucking thing you need is another cup of coffee. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I mean, these ladies aren't starving to death. The cops did not show up after the alarm went off. Right? The cops didn't show up until after Mr. Blunt started shooting everybody. You're making a terrible mistake. I'm not gonna let you make it. Come on, guys. Nobody wants this. We're supposed to be fucking professionals. Larry, stop pointing that fucking gun at my dad! At number 2, we got Rear Window. Nobody can never reach the level of suspense which is achieved by Sir Alfred Hitchcock. Rear Window is just another film in his everlasting legacy of filmmaking. Rear Window was released in 1948 and is based on a short story. Its direction was given by Alfred Hitchcock and its screenplay was written by John Michael Hayes. The plot of this film revolves around a wheelchair-bounded person who is recovering from an accident. Out of boredom, this man spent his time looking out of his window. Soon his eyes catch a suspected murder in the neighborhood. It has James Stewart and Gracie Kelly in lead roles. Most of the film is shot in a single spot where James Stewart is sitting in a chair. Rear Window is considered one of the greatest films ever made. It was a major success and earned a huge profit at the box office. At number 1, we got 12 Angry Men. Perhaps the greatest film of all times, this cinematic wonder excels in three qualities. Number 1. The whole film is dialogue driven. Number 2. The best and authentic example of storytelling. And number 3. The whole film is shot in a single room. Yes, we are talking about Sydney Limit's 12 Angry Men. The film follows 12 jurors who gather to decide the fate on an 18-year-old boy. This film gives you excitement, fear, thrill, and suspense through its dialogues and acting of cast members. It stars Henry Fonds, Lee J. Cobb, and Ed Bagley are in the lead roles. It was made with a production budget of $350,000 but earned $20 million at the box office. 
it is, without any doubt, the best example of a film that took place in a single room. On the point of that night, a man's life is at stake. And I say it's not possible. What's up? I don't understand you people. I mean, all these picky little points you keep bringing up, they don't mean nothing. Watch them and pray, for someday you may become one of them. You're letting them slip through our fingers. Slip through our fingers? Are you his executioner? So what you think about our list and which film is your favorite? If you want to see more videos like this, then be sure to subscribe The Film Gossips.